Good morning kids. This is your social studies textbook. You should also have a separate notebook and cover it properly. Today we will start our first chapter that is learning about the map. Here in page number 1 you can see lots of pictures. But before that let's learn what is a globe and a map. This is the picture of a globe. It is the exact model of the earth. You can see the large land areas and the large water areas. This large land areas are called the continents and this blue color large water area is called the oceans. Now let us see what is a map. A map is a flat drawing of a surface of the earth. This is a world map. You can see the continents and the oceans. Children, do you know how many continents we have? Our earth have 7 continents and 5 oceans. These are the oceans. Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Arctic Ocean and Pacific Ocean. The continents are Asia, Europe, Africa, Antarctica, South America, North America and Australia. Do you know which is the largest continent? Asia is the largest continent and can you see where India is located? India is located here and is surrounded by Indian Ocean. Now which is the largest ocean? Largest ocean is the Pacific Ocean. Kids, do you know the country and the continent which have the same name? It's Australia and it is located here. The islands and the Australia together are called Oceana. Here in page number 1 you can see lots of pictures. The first picture is of the globe and the second picture is the world map which we have already seen here. Third picture is of a local colony map. These types of map gives you lots of information. Here you can see the roads, the buildings, landmarks, school, fire stations and so on. So kids, if you visit to any place, what would you like to have with you? A globe or a map? We all know that globe is very huge in size and it is difficult to carry. But we can carry map easily with us. In page number 2, we can see a diagram. It tells us the uses of map, features of map and difference between the map and globe, which we will learn further in detail. Do you know who is a cartographer? A person who makes map is called the cartographer and the work of making map is called cartography. Let us take a break and visit some beautiful place. Have you heard about Taj Mahal? Let us see where it is located. Kids, this is the view of earth from the space. Now we will locate where Taj Mahal is. Do you know it is one of the seven wonders of the world and it was built 350 years ago by Shah Jahan, a Mughal emperor for his beloved wife Umtaz. Here you can see Taj Mahal and to the left of Taj Mahal is the Mehman Khana or the assembly hall. To the right of Taj Mahal is the Taj Mahal Mosque. It has elaborated garden with footpaths. You can see a pool of water which is positioned in such a manner to capture the reflection of Taj Mahal. Here there are four gates. This is the great gate and to the east we have eastern gate or it, it is also called Fateh Badi. To the west we have Fatehpuri gate. Here there is one gate, it is called Siddhi gate. Usually tourists use these two gates. 
we can see that Taj Mahal is located on the banks of Ri Yamuna River. To the opposite of Yamuna River, we can see an incomplete black Taj Mahal. Now this is the aerial view of Taj Mahal. Next, we will discuss about the uses of map. Here you can see the world map. It emphasizes the natural feature of the world map. Here you can see mountains, oceans, continents, plain areas, desert. For example, this brown marked area are the mountains. We can also use maps for location of the continents, the countries and oceans. There are some types of map which gives you particular kind of information. For example, this is a world map and it gives information about the different sports played in different countries. Here this is African continent and the main sports of this is football. Here in India, the main sport of India is cricket. A map acts as a guide in places which we have never visited before. It gives us information about the distance between the location, railway stations, airports and so on. Tourists often use maps while traveling to find out their destination. Nowadays, many vehicles use GPS that is global positioning system. It is a space based satellite used for navigation. Now let us move to the features of the map. The first feature is heading. There is a map here which you can see the heading. It is India major soil map. The heading tells you what the map is going to show you. So, this map is going to tell about the soils present in India. Second is direction. We have a compass rose which tells the direction of the map. Usually all the maps are with northern direction at the top. Here you can see the alphabet N which represents the north direction. Then we have the third feature scale. In this map you can see a scale. It is in kilometers. Kids, our next feature is scale. For this we will take another map. Here you can see the measurement is given in from 100 to 400 kilometer and we measure from the scale it is 8 centimeter. We can use this measurement to measure the different places. All the maps have their own scales. Based on the scales the maps are divided into two large scale map and small scale map. Large scale maps are those maps which gives lots of information about a small area like the local colony map and the small scale maps are those maps which give less information of a very big area like the world map. So using your scale you can find the distance on the map. Our next feature is the symbols and colors. As we can see that to represent the mountains we are using brown color and for the plains we are using green colors. We also use different types of symbols in weather map. Here in your textbook you can see some symbols. These are used in weather maps. The first symbol is of the sun peeping out of the cloud. It is used to represent partly cloudy day. Our next symbol is of a cloud with raindrops. It represents rainfall. You can see other symbols also in your textbook. Now let us move to the next feature that is key or legend. Here in the map you can see a chart is there which explains the given symbol. We have some symbols given in the textbook. 
you can see the image of a bus station and the image is of a bus. You can just go through all these symbols. Now let us do an activity. You have to find out in which direction is your house facing using the compass which is present in your Android fonts. Next activity is you have to draw and color the world map mentioning all the continents and oceans. That is all for today. We will meet in the next class. Thank you.